Hi, I'm Lewis. Cool. I'm Aaron. Yeah. I'm Shane. Uh, welcome to the last episode of DD Kong's web series, Volume 2. The last one! In this episode, we're going to be talking about all the amplifiers in the back of the DD Kong and a wee bit of signal processing. We're also going to cover our favorite parts of the revamp of the Kong for this season. Let's check it out! Check it out! Put Mason back to work in the metal fab shop to, uh, to create us some new amp racks. These ones aren't as cool as the last ones because they don't move and swing around to do cool stuff, but they definitely serve the purpose. They keep the amp safe and secure and isolate them from vibration. They still look super zesty. Extra zest. Mm, zestiness. Mm, zesty. You know, with, with everything else, there's a finite amount of room in the back of the vehicle for all the gear that we have stuffed back there. Uh, luckily, Mason is a beast with measuring tape because it literally came down to the last millimeter, but it fit. The reason why we went with four M5s this season versus the two Z2Cs last season, for one, was because we're going to change things, we may as well change things. The Zs would have been perfectly fine as far as being a power plant, but we changed a lot in the interior. We figured why not go ahead and change it up in the back as well. Power-wise, we're not up by a whole lot by switching from the Zs to the Ms, but they are a little bit easier to wire considering we're running a single amp per woofer, and it looks really cool. For Lewis, it's quite challenging. It's very difficult for him to operate these very small devices. Lewis has five kielbasa attached to each of his palms. It's always a comedic act. This year on the mids and highs, we really didn't make any sort of monumental changes. The switch was from the VOMs to the VOMNs. We've still got the eight SS4Bs. We really didn't even have to fiddle too, around too much with the crossovers, aside from lift them a hair, just to try and take a little bit of the mid bass duty, duty off of them. During the initial testing for the truck to be able to go to TDH, the head unit decided that it had enough from <laughs> after last season. That's where we had to do that last minute scramble to put the DSI in the truck. We initially put it in the center console, but anything that can break in the front will. We actually had to relocate this little guy back behind the B pillar. After some clever wiring, Shane was able to get it back there. So now that nothing's broken, what do you guys think your favorite parts of this, the whole build were? Favorite things for me was being able to engineer solutions to problems whenever we wanted to add the six alternators. All of that creative thinking, making it all work. The subtle details that we added this season under the hood. My favorite part was watching Shane as unending sadness of sanding upside down inside a box in a 90 degree <laughs> shop. It's pain, it sustains me. That was a swell time. My favorite thing to do when we're doing demos is having people check out uh, just a lot of the little things. When you turn up the volume all the way and it goes to the little poop icon, everyone loves that. Ah oh, man, those six alts are hard to beat. You know, just because it's such a spectacle. You know, having the, the frames powder coated and all that stuff are a real eye catcher. You can't pop a hood and ignore six alternators. Six alternators is awesome. <laughs> so many parts. You know, the, the new 18s are the, the most current revision. I don't care what anybody says. It's always fun having the newest stuff. Plus, it gives us a chance to, to go out on the road and, and show people what the gear will really do. Then they get to not only experience a new product, but they get to see what, what sort of potential it holds. And it kind of gives them ideas for the future. It would be a good idea to to give a shout out to all the amazing sponsors that we had this season. We used to be like, you know, thanks to JY Power for, you know, supplying all the new you know, power that we're gonna run at this time. Thanks to Tom at Ohio Generator for, you know, kicking in another three alternators that was spectacular. Mm -hmm. You know, then thanks to Hell Week for supporting all this weight around without breaking. Uh, thanks to Shit Honor for being such a great marketing partner mm -hmm. and, and for doing all that they do for the for the, the hobby as a whole. Uh, thanks to Lettering Express for their wonderful job revamping the new wrap and 12 volt metalworks was also there yeah you should say something like that that would be great it's been a long season and we just want to thank all multiple dozens of our viewers but we don't ever really ask you guys a lot of questions so down in the comments in this video we want to know what you guys think we should do if there's a season three if there's a season three if there's a season three maybe plexi windows maybe switch the whole build to six and a halfs but yeah, let us know what you think. You guys have three more chances to check out the DD Kong this summer. First one, Daytona. Lewis is gonna be out there handing out demos like candy. Then, Lewis and I are gonna be rocking out both Texas Heat Wave as well as Surf City in Lincoln City, Oregon. Both those shows are gonna be amazing and if you guys aren't there, you're gonna be missing out. Like this guy, he can't go. We don't like him. <laughs> if you're one of the first, you get a free demo That's towel right. as well. Float towel. Be sure to stay tuned. We'll have a tour recap from 
all the different shows that Kong attended. And you get to see how we actually make these videos. Shenanigans. I'm Lewis. I'm Aaron. I'm Shane. Until, Until next time. time.